guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you with on my very first trip into an HEB. Now that I've moved here to Texas, everyone talks about HEB. It's a local grocery chain here. I think it's only in Texas. You guys know I love a good grocery shopping trip. I love checking out stores, seeing what products they have, what's new, grabbing new things to try. So today for Vlogmas, I am taking you guys with on my first trip to HEB. Apparently it stands for Here Everything's Better. We're gonna see if that's really true. I did hear they have a lot of variety when it comes to their different cuts of meat they offer. They have some really big different departments. I will say today we're going into an HEB plus. I don't know how big of a difference that makes from typical HEBs around Texas. If you're from Texas and shop at HEB, let me know in the comments below. That's just the closest one to me and the one that I would shop at in my new neighborhood. So that's the one we're checking out today. Sorry, we're sitting in the car right now because Nora is with me and she's just finishing up her morning snack. So she's a happy baby, hopefully, while we go shop. I do have a list for the week that I'm bringing in. Um, I just went to Costco last week, so I still have a lot of my like go-to staples when it comes to basic cuts of meat in the freezer, frozen veggies. But like always, every week I gotta restock all my fresh stuff, some more fruit, some more fresh vegetables, milk, eggs. And I did make a meal plan for the week, um, but I left some flexibility where I was just like, one night we're gonna do fish and some sort of vegetable. So we'll see what they have, check out the pricing and any sales they have going on and kind of select things from there. So that's what we're doing today. All right, Nora, you ready to go? Yes. Okay, let's head into H-E-B and do some grocery shopping. We're here. All right, let's head into ATB. What do you think? You excited to go find some new snacks? Oh, are you gonna find new snacks? Yes. Oh, let's go shopping. So they have a number of fresh herbs, planters, plants outside, some on sale produce. Oh, wait, what's over here? You guys, they have Grinch trees. These are me of the ones like at Trader Joe's. They're so cute and only 25 bucks. They also have firewood outside if you're looking to light a fire in your fireplace. They have the big like two seater carts, kind of like Costco. This place is huge. Everything is bigger in Texas. Huge produce section. There's a bakery up front. Some takeaway stuff. We need some more grapes. Yes, my kids went through a three pound box from Costco in less than one week. These do look nice and firm and crunchy like they are three forty eight a pound today. I had to keep looking. There's a ton of grapes and berries over there, but there's a whole nother section of grapes. And these are three pound boxes, just like at Costco, only six fifty four for the three pound box. So that's a great deal. We love a local produce section. So it's saying a lot of the produce over here is fresh grown in Texas, which is awesome. They have a huge variety all the way down. All the tomatillos. That makes me so excited. I always had trouble finding enough good ones when I wanted to make salsa verde or pork chili verde. Um, when I was in Georgia, I always felt like our grocery store had such a small amount of them. So many tomatillos. All right, well, that's probably gonna end up needing to go on the meal plan sometime in the next week or two. All the peppers and produce. It looks so good and fresh. Nice and firm. I feel like they haven't been sitting here for forever. Mm, that's a good one. Well, this is just so smart. Look at how they package their fresh herbs. They have a little bit of water in the bottom and an opening at the top so they're getting air. So they're staying fresh until they're bought. They're not like enclosed in plastic the whole time. Some green beans. Stop, look at those gorgeous heirlooms. So many varieties of apples and actually a number of them that I've never heard of before. Like, what's a sugar beet apple taste like? They're cute. A number of more unique fruits and veggies, some more tropical stuff, some sweet potatoes. They have a pretty big bakery section. Lots of different pies and cakes and baked sweets. What are those? Oh my. Disney, take note. Now that is how you do a $7 cinnamon roll. So many options. Look at this jalapeno cornbread. That looks so good. A pineapple upside down cake. All well, your typical cakes and stuff too. I gotta get out of that section though. So let's go check out the meat and fish departments. So they have a lot of stuff here that's like pre-packaged, but from their fish counter. So you can find some things you're looking for.
fresh mahi mahi, $9.97 a pound. Just so much variety. Some Creole style crab cakes. We're actually not that far from like Louisiana here in the Houston area. So I feel like there, I've seen numerous restaurants and things that are like Creole style with like influence from Louisiana. So much shellfish. Ugh, too bad my husband's allergic. Daddy allergic to shellfish. Yeah. They have a station for warm, fresh, homemade tortillas. I think HEB's heaven. A huge deli counter, so many options, including boar's head meat, which is what I normally go to Kroger for. I love it. But they also have all their own like in-house smoked meats. So I told Josh I would try, I had heard about this, so I'm gonna try and pick up some smoked turkey for sandwiches this week. I don't know if that's at all HEBs or maybe because this is an HEB plus, but I don't know if you guys can see it. They have a kitchen and table section with like housewares for the kitchen. So that's interesting. Also a pretty vast beer and wine selection. All the fun things to shop here. The meat market. So they have a lot of things that are like fresh from their counter, but pre-packaged up so you can just grab and go, which is nice because it's fast. Like they have steaks, they have different kinds of ground, they got strip steak, all sorts of varieties. And then in this case, they have a lot of their prime selections as well as some meal kits and things. Like, what other grocery store just has like casual giant town hot steaks hanging out? And they also, of course, have like a regular meat market counter. They, I noticed here, had more things that were like prepared already with marinades and cuts like that. And of course, everything that you can find, Texas shaped. And of course, they have all your typical grocery aisles canned box stuff. Even the regular stuff though, they have to have their Texas size packs. I mean, when you're in HEB, you got to. Texas shaped chips. Texas shaped chips and Lone Star goldfish, basically. A ton of different kinds of flavors of the apple like sauce kind of pouches. That's, that's a big old pack. A whole pet section. I may have let Nora pick Millie Dog a little new toy out. Did you pick out a toy for Mimi? <gasps> you did? Yep, we'll give it to her when we get home. I do need some cream cheese for a recipe this week. We will try the HEB brand and see how it measures up. Well, that's cool. I don't see that in a lot of like individual store brands, but they have their own like 0% Greek yogurt flavors. They're very affordable. The four packs are only $3.48 and lots of different flavors. I don't need anything from there today, but they also have household. They have home decor because we all need a Texas shaped charcuterie board. I will say Texans definitely show their Texas pride. <laughs> don't mess with Texas. Well, I'm loving this and I did have to get rid of my crock pot when we moved because it was breaking. I'll have to think about this one. It's so cute. I just sent Josh a picture of the grilling section. He's gonna be in heaven when he gets over here. His daddy gonna be excited. Look at all the grilling stuff. There's all sorts of wood chunks for smoking, different flavored woods. There's accessories for your grills and smokers. Actual grills and smokers for sale. Sauces, rubs, tools, all the stuff. All right, but we're about ready to get out of here. You ready to go, Bubba? Yeah. And go home and have some lunch? Okay. Okay. What are you saying? Eat, eat, eat. eat. Yep, you're ready for lunch. This is so cool to see too. They have fresh sushi and bowls, hot dishes as well. Now that is good looking grocery store sushi. Yum. Okay. We made it out. <laughs> Very full cart. We made it out. Let's go home and do the haul. Hey guys, I am back home. I just got everything pulled out from our grocery haul at HEB. I was kind of floored. I thought it was such a large store, but everything was organized really well. They had it all sectioned off, you know, like normal grocery stores do, but they had these big headings at the top that were really eye-catching and grabbing, so I could be at any point in the store, look around, and find exactly what section I needed to get to. Um, it was much more clear than a lot of the like small signs that most grocery stores have above each aisle, although they did have those for like the dry goods area. Um, but anyway, it was really well laid out, really 
well organized. I could find everything I needed. They had so many options. So a lot of new things to try. I'm excited to try a lot of the HEB branded items. They also just had a really wide variety of choice, whether it was produce, veggies, and fruit, stuff I don't see typically in grocery stores, but also the amount of it. Like there was so much of everything. Nothing looked picked over. Everything looked pretty fresh. I'm excited to return in the future to do a little bit more digging into like that home section maybe and also Josh wants to come back to do the grilling section with me but it was getting late and this one over here just kept saying eat 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 mama so she was ready to come home for lunch you having some good lunch you're trying a new HEB product right now you're trying one of their fruit pouches this one was apple strawberry and banana how was your pouch was it good did you like it mama you want more? Nice. Oh, okay, more. Well, she ate her whole pouch. She ate some salami and cheese and crackers. All right, let me go grab you some more lunch. All right, you guys saw how much variety they had in their produce section. Tons of local Texas grown stuff too, which was awesome. Um, I got a big three pound package of grapes, a big old pack of fresh green beans. I'm gonna steam these and we're gonna eat them on the side with one of our dinners this week. Um, I got three apples. These are those sugar bee apples. I've never heard of those before. So I'm gonna try a new apple variety a couple of avocados. That was kind of cool. I don't think I grabbed a clip of it, but they had so many types of avocados. They had jumbo Haas avocados, large Haas avocados, standard ones. They had one other variety, but what they also did was they had different sections for like ready to eat, as well as some other sections of ones that were totally green that you could get to wait a while. So instead of having to dig through bins on your own to find, you know, the right thing you're looking for, you can get a variety so that you don't just get four avocados now that are gonna go bad in a day and a half before you can get to them all, and you don't also have to wait a week and a half for them to ripen. So, lots of avocado choice. Um, I got two green bell peppers. I'm gonna use these in a like chopped salad this week for lunches for myself. I also have a bunch of hummus at home yet from last week, so we'll slice them up and we'll dip them in hummus. Look at this beautiful heirloom tomato I picked up. Um, honestly, I may just eat this on toast and just do like a savory open face tomato sandwich kind of thing. That sounds pretty good. I got three sweet potatoes. The girls love um, air fryer sweet potatoes. So I'll just like dice one up, peel it and all that kind of stuff. Toss it in the air fryer for a little while with some simple seasoning and they love that as a side with dinner. Or sometimes I'll cut them like fry shaped and we'll do sweet potato fries in the air fryer. These are the pouches that Nora was just eating right now and apple, strawberry, banana. They had so many flavors. I think I showed a clip of that, but they had like apple, but they also had cinnamon apple, which are pretty standard. But then they had like blueberry, they had mango, they had other ones with mixed fruits and things like that. So lots of different options for pouches which is great if you're a toddler mom like me we love a good pouch in this house I grabbed two bricks of their regular cream cheese 100 calorie Greek yogurt cups and these come in so many flavors I got the banana pudding one we're recently transplanted from Georgia we got to try out the banana pudding if we see one so I'm gonna try that I think this will be so good on top of fresh strawberries for a little yogurt bowl in the morning but they had tons of different flavors excited to try more of those I hope they're good those came in at three points on the WW plan I did scan them in store I got some more coffee creamer this is the one I always get um, no matter what store I'm at. I did grab a half gallon of 2% milk. Um, that one is mostly for Lila. I still had whole milk home for Nora this week. I grabbed an 18 pack of eggs. Prices on eggs were pretty good, about the same as I've been seeing, so nothing earth shattering there, but you know, they looked to be really good quality. None of them had any issues. Eggs. This Joshua will be excited about. I picked up a Texas size pack a family pack of New York strip steaks. And this came in 2.67 pounds of strip steak for under $30. That was a steal. This is USDA choice, it's not prime cut, but honestly this, I just take a look and make sure there's some marbling through the meat for good flavor. And this is great for like, if you want to just do steak, for like a weeknight meal or what I will do is I will wrap these individually in some parchment paper and put them in a gallon size freezer bag. That way I can just pull one out when we're ready for it. Sometimes Josh and I will split one of these. I can slice it up and use it for stir fry or tacos or sometimes we'll just cook one up and split it for dinner with a bunch of veggies or a big old side salad. This is also really good on salad to do like a steak and blue cheese crumble salad. 
For lunches this week, I picked up some provolone cheese. I also had a little bit of Swiss cheese left from last week's grocery haul. Um, I got this for Josh and I. H-E-B has their own in-house roasted deli meats, which is kind of cool. So this is the True Texas Barbecue Seasoned Turkey Breast. Um, and it is 0.63 pounds for $7.55. So I'm really excited to try this. I think it'll be great either on salads or sandwiches this week. I did pick up some regular like deli honey turkey. That's what Nora eats a lot for lunch. Lila will eat this too on like a tortilla wrap with cheese, um, the provolone, I think I said. And then I'm trying out HEB's brand of turkey pepperoni. Josh loves turkey pepperoni and cheese and crackers, kind of adult lunchabling or he also just loves to snack on turkey pepperoni. Like when he gets home from work, if he's hanging out playing with the kids while I'm making full dinner, he'll have a little snack with some turkey pepperoni and cheese kind of stuff. Got some fruit and grain blueberry cereal bars. Lila likes to bring these to school for a snack. These are one of my favorite savory snacks for the house, the Snack Factory Pretzel Bites um, and the honey mustard flavor. Absolutely love these. These are so delicious and you get a pretty decent amount on WW if you're following. So I grabbed some honey mustard pretzels. I have restocked my old fashioned oats. I think I have some bananas that are kind of on their way out from last week. So I think I'm gonna make some banana oat muffins. Lila also loves to bring those for snack at school or have um, for a quick breakfast in the morning before school. So those are great to have on hand. Uh, I'm sorry, but we just, we had to, we had to. We had to get the HEB Texas shaped tortilla chips. So we will have those on hand for snacking or maybe on the side with dinner one night. My girls love peanut butter crackers. So that's a little snack for the kids. Banana peppers um, to have on hand. I like those on sandwiches and salads. Couple cans of whole kernel corn, a couple cans of petite diced tomatoes. If I ever have a recipe that calls for things like this, I always buy the one I need for the recipe plus one so I can start building up like a back stock in the pantry. Um, Cause we newly moved into this house, we don't have a lot of pantry stock. So I'm having to buy what we need every week, but this kind of helps build a little bit of a stock up in your pantry, just so you always have some basic things on hand at home. So I'll probably be using one of each of these cans though. I'm gonna be making some tortilla soup later this week. I did also buy, in addition to those strawberry banana pouches, I bought a 12 pack of the apple cinnamon. Lila and Nora love these as sides with dinner too. They're just like a quick, here's pouch, especially if they need an appetizer if they're getting grumpy as dinner's getting cooked. So I actually had something similar to this a long time ago and I think it got broken or lost or I don't know. Anyway, we've been doing just like regular hot coffee in our coffee pot lately. I do still have my Nespresso maker and I still enjoy making lattes on occasion, but we've just been like really into the hot coffee, coffee pot vibe lately. These are nice cause it's a clip for the top of the bag, but it's also like your scoop. So you scoop and clip and it's one thing and you always get the same consistent scoops of coffee that way. So you can customize it. Anyway, I thought that was a cool snack. So I just grabbed it through the aisle. And then this is actually what I'm making for dinner tonight. They had Mahi Mahi on sale for like under $8 a pound. Um, so I got this nice fresh piece of Mahi Mahi and I'm gonna make fish tacos. So I got this, I'll use some seasoning, maybe some like citrusy, smoky kind of a seasoning with chipotle and lime and stuff like that. Um, and then I bought some of the H-E-B fresh pico de gallo to top it with, some of the shredded cabbage. I will use Greek yogurt and fresh lime juice to make a crema to drizzle on top but these are gonna be like the star of the show oh my goodness my mouth was watering walking by their fresh tortilla stand area they had hot fresh homemade tortillas ready to pick up these would be great to grab on your way home from work or even now like I actually asked another lady who was standing there who's bought them before and I asked like, do you take these home warm and what if you're not eating them right away? We're gonna eat them tonight with dinner probably. She said she just leaves them on the counter for the first day if they're using them that night for dinner and then she'll put the leftovers in the fridge so they keep well. But anyway, I think we might need a taste test because these look absolutely amazing. Sorry guys, she's getting kind of cranky. She is done with lunch and ready for a nap. But here, you wanna try a bite of tortilla? You wanna try a bite? That's like what I use for your quesadillas. Look. Mmm. They're soft and chewy. Mmm. You try a bite? Mmm. Mm. Is that good? Yep. Yep. Mmm. 
good. I'm gonna get everything put away in the fridge and then get her down for a nap. So thank you guys for coming along on my first trip to ATB. What do you guys think? How did I do in the comments? Am I turning into a true Texan? Maybe not yet, but I'm on my way. I'm so excited to have gone there. I felt like the prices were really affordable compared to some other grocery stores I've been in lately. And they had a huge variety. It was a great environment. It was really friendly. Mmm. Nora keeps saying mmm mmm now. <laughs> was that a good tortilla? Nora approves. So thank you guys so much for coming along on today's video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of my Vlogmas series and my future content videos coming. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed shopping with us today. And until next vlog, bye! bye.